So this is my WISE uh, V3 uh, camera, and if anybody has the V3s, you know that the, the wireless sucks. It's got terrible range. Now I have a, a V2 that I haven't really used. Um, well, I mean, I used to use it. I don't really use it any longer, but um, the, it's got to get mounted, and I just haven't gotten around to it. But I had no problems with this one. Um, this one actually was great, had, had great uh, reception. This one is not so good, and here I'll show you. So if you can see that under device info, it shows that it's got two bars of signal. Now the access point is in the same room I am, so that should be 100%. When this is mounted outside, I get maybe one bar. Um, if the garage door gets open because it's near the garage door, it must block the signal because the camera will drop out at that point. So uh, yeah, this this thing, needs needs some work. So what I want to do is open this up and um, take a look. I've seen, uh, there was actually a, a gentleman uh, in particular, I think his name, I think his channel was Roger S. And he did a video about taking these things apart and uh, putting an external antenna on it. Well, I don't really want to do an external, so I want to put a different internal antenna. And what I have, this is an antenna out of a laptop. This goes into the lid of the laptop or the screen. Um, and it's a uh, it is, I think the laptop did 2.4 and 5 gigahertz as well. So this should work just fine with this. Um, I'm not, I was gonna put a connector on it, but I can't seem to find where I put my connector. So I'm just gonna cut this off and solder it right to the board. So let's get this apart. I will put a link to the other gentleman's video about how he got, how to take it apart. He does a really good job. I'm gonna try this. I've never taken this apart yet. So obviously, so uh, this should be interesting. But apparently this, just this faceplate, you gotta just cut this faceplate. It's just a piece that's glued in. You know what? Screw this thing. Let's get this out of here. And you take this piece off. You don't want to push it in too far. I don't... There is an O-ring in here, but I think that's down further. That's part of the next step. And I have a habit of cutting myself every time I use a knife, so. There we go. So once you get it in there, it's just double-sided tape, so you can kind of, kind of cut it out. And he did a much better job at this, but again, apparently he did like seven of them before this, so before the one he showed, so he had a little bit of practice. And once I get one side in, there we go. There we go. And you put different new double-sided tape or glue it back on, whichever you'd like to do. Um, I'll find some double-sided tape or maybe just reuse this, we'll see. And the difference is on his video, these look like they were whole. So let's see, maybe this is just a rubber. Oh, yes it is, nice. And I'm gonna screw this up. How deep does this go? Pretty deep, so I'm gonna need a long Phillips screwdriver. All right, this should work. That's not good. I just shoved that all the way down in there. So the screws are loose in here, they're not coming out. I tried a magnet, can't get them out, but that's probably because there's a lot of rubber bits in there because I'm an idiot, and I dropped the little rubber stoppers in there. Um, I used a, uh, a drill bit and grabbed them and pulled them out. But anyway, the uh, screws feel like they're still in there, but I can spin them freely, so, uh, you know, we're good there. I think one came out. Nope, there's one. All 
All right. So then he says, very, very gently or very lightly, get the blade underneath this plastic. There is a rubber O-ring in here, so you got to be careful not to go too far. And pop this out. Let me get a flathead. All right, and there's the camera. Let's disconnect this. And there it is. And there's the antenna. So one thing he talked about in this in his video, and he's right, there is a lot of room inside this case. Now you got the speaker back here, so you gotta you can't go you know there that's some space now granted I don't even need the speaker or really want it but I'm gonna leave it in there um, so th there's that there's also this little piece on the bottom you got to make sure that uh, you keep you know anything out of the way of that but for the most part you know, there's plenty of room in here um, I also want to get these screws out while, I, while I'm remembering and yes I ruined the rubber stoppers but It'll survive. It's actually, it's kind of covered, so it should be okay. All right, so let's see. Where do I want to keep? I'll put this in. I want it to be about, we'll make it about that long. You know, I'll save this because I can always use that for something else. Let's take this off. You know, my, my iron just, my iron's broke. I just, I dropped something earlier on my uh, bench and I thought it missed the iron, but it looks like it did. You can see the tip there is, where is it? Yeah, it's bent. Damn it. All right, well, we'll get what I can out of it. So two of these should be connected to each other. It should just be the outside and the end based on this antenna. But let's take a look. All right, so these two So I need to connect between those two there. So it should be the two outside. We'll do it this way. Should be the two outside pins. Because these two here have continuity. So it should be these two here.
I'd like to put that through the border if possible. And then I'm just gonna solder that right like that. So before I go any further, let's just plug it in and see. if it's any better. That's that. We'll plug it in. All right, and so there's the camera, device info, and we got three bars. So just by doing that, we got three bars. So let's unplug it, put it back together. Question is, so that goes like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick it to the back um, because this little notch in the bottom here, that's where that would go through here. So if we put this back together, that'll work out pretty well. Um, yeah, so the, I'm sorry, so what I was saying earlier about where you can't put stuff is because this, this jack's here and it's going to be taking up a lot of room. But I can get away with putting, I can put this right up here, I think, and I'll keep it to this side. So I think what I'm going to do is put just a couple dabs of super glue on this foil. Because I was going to take the foil off, but I'm not sure if it's actually part of the antenna. And I never actually checked. But that's okay because I can use it to actually mount this. And also it'll I can glue the foil down so that there's no risk of it touching this. Even though there is there is tape over it, so it's not exactly conductive, but you know. I just want to be careful. So that's in there. One of the things I did is I damaged this O-ring on the way out. I did what I shouldn't do, but it should be okay. And it pops into place. Just like that. Before I go any further, let me plug it back in, make sure it works. And it does. All right, so I just went ahead and made sure that this works and it does so we're good there so now I can just put it all back together actually I'm going to use this one
and I'll put what's left of uh, these things back in there. I'm not too concerned. And then we'll just put this right back over top. And voila, finished. Put the SD card back in. And that's that. All right, so I got the uh, camera here. We'll go to settings, device info. We'll go to settings, device info, and look at that, three bars. Um, there was two before and when it was outside you get like one if you're lucky so uh, well one to two it bounces back and forth so again this should be three bars because the access point is like maybe 10 15 feet away from me a clear line of sight um, so yeah it's working so we're good so I don't know that's that's how I do it I know I wasn't the most careful about it but uh, as long as it works that's all I care about so hope you found that useful uh, keep a look in the description I'll put a link to the other gentleman's video. He does a very good, very good uh, job showing how to take it apart. A lot clearer than what I did. And um, hope you have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye bye.